broom closets. Is it important to come out of one or stay in one? It doesn't matter, in my opinion, because I think that we are... I think spirituality is kind of personal, honestly. I think it's a personal thing, and you don't have to come out if you don't want to. You don't have to come out even if you may want to, because it's just not necessary. I mean, hi, everyone. I am so-and-so. I mean, wearing a pendant on your neck is the same thing as wearing a rose or wearing anything. It's just like, hey, I like roses. Hey, uh, roses rock in my world. So wearing a pentacle is the same thing. I rock the pentacle. And, like, people don't need to know if that's what sector of what whatever. You know what I mean? They don't have to. They don't it doesn't matter. At least that's how I've always carried myself within the communities that I grew up with. And that seemed to work out fine because I seemed like I was surrounded by pagans, atheists, whoever. Surrounded by them completely without, you know, but like I don't know. I've always openly gone to like open circles or I've openly hung out with, it's kind of different because when you're online, when you're online, you have to kind of say, hey, I'm out and here I am, I'm one of you guys, um, because there's no like big gathering point of just we all kind of gather here and it's understood because we're here, what we are, I don't know, maybe there is, just, uh, it's really complicated being in, being out, who cares, like, so I've never really bothered with it. I lived my life. I wore my pentacle. I hung out with who I hung out with. And we never talked about it. We never discussed it. I've said this before in videos. We never discussed what we were. Didn't matter. You know, we just we, we just had an understanding that we all understood the cycles of nature. And we gathered and celebrated around those. But what people were defining themselves as didn't really. And, oh, if you're wondering about this. It's like, yowza, huh? Um, I'll explain later. So, but now, for the first time in my life, like being here on YouTube, talking to you all, going, hey, I'm a part of your community over here. This is who I am. Hi. Um, for the first time in my life, I've actually had to had, have open discussions about it with my family. And that's never happened really before. I mean, I've worn my pinnacle for 26, no not that long, but for a good couple decades, maybe. And uh, my mom's always seen it. My family's always seen it. I think once, maybe twice, they asked, what does that mean? And I'm just like, no, 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 It's just, you know. It's... And then uh, she uh, never really asked until recently. Because recently, there's been a dynamic shift within my family, which is everybody, I grew up in an atheist mindset at house. Not that they were atheists and didn't believe in God, but we never, we didn't have religion, we didn't have a culture, social structure thing. I wanted to go to churches, I wanted to find our spirituality and connect with it, and my mom was like, well, go ahead. <laughs> so we weren't religious, she didn't talk, we never talked about God, and I guess apparently for a long time she didn't really like him. <laughs> so, uh, that was it. And then all of a sudden, now, now, now after I've had a child, my whole family seems to have found Jesus and talk about it a lot and are studying the Bible all the time and watching people like Joyce Meyer, which is cool. You know, I'm happy that there is some sort of element of them having a connection to a spiritual religious outlet. That's a connection in that way. That's awesome. You know, just channeling into whatever path they're going to channel into. I'm glad they're channeling into one and having a connection with divine source. But now it's like that. But now, so now, finally, after all these years, I'm getting the questions of, what is that, Star? What are you? What is that? Witchcraft? What are you? Pagan? You know? <laughs> so for the first time, I think I've actually had to just step on out of the broom closet. I know I'm talking really abstractly. Sometimes that happens. Hope you're hanging in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's about it. So, yeah. Oh, and now because the child thing, now the discussion's about, well, how are we going to celebrate Christmas? And um, 
you know, is, is the baby going to learn about Santa Claus and, you know, Jesus or, you know, and I'm like, oh, now we got to deal with that, that subject. So that further steps me out of the closet, having to define what I feel is appropriate according to our family traditions and values that we're creating. Understand? It's a broom closet. That's how it's played a role in my life so far. And that's what I think about it. You don't have to come out. You don't need to come out unless you just want to wave your flag and be like, look at me over here. This is what I am. Recognize. You know what I mean? But um, but you don't have to. You know, it's not like you have to unless unless you come into a corner where I feel like I am in this corner. See me in a corner? <laughs> uh, that you have to explain yourself for lifestyle purposes, reasons, you know, getting along with the family. I don't know. Those are my thoughts. Five, six minutes of thoughts on broom closets. That's me.